Ping the Panda, a story of friendship, perseverance, and sharing in the misty mountains of China, surrounded by bamboo forests that stretched as far as the eye could see, lived a cheerful panda named Ping. Ping loved his quiet life in the bamboo groves, spending his days munching on bamboo shoots and lounging in the shade. With his soft, black and white fur and big, round eyes, Ping was loved by everyone in the forest. Ping's best friend was Mei the Red Panda, who lived in the trees nearby. Mei was small and quick, always darting through the branches and playing games, while Ping was a bit slower and more relaxed. But despite their differences, they were the best of friends and always enjoyed each other's company. One day, as Ping was enjoying a particularly delicious patch of bamboo, Mei came rushing down from the treetops, her little paws thumping as she landed beside him. Ping. You won't believe what I just heard, Mei exclaimed, her eyes wide with excitement. What is it, Mei? Ping asked, taking another bite of bamboo. The big bamboo grove across the river is in trouble, Mei said, hopping up and down. A group of pandas there have eaten all the bamboo, and now they don't have any left. They're hungry, and they don't know what to do. Ping's heart sank. He knew how much pandas relied on bamboo for food. Without it, they wouldn't survive. That's terrible. What can we do to help? Mei thought for a moment. Maybe we could share some of our bamboo with them. There's plenty here, and we could gather enough to bring to them. Ping nodded, his face serious. That's a great idea, Mei. It won't be easy, but if we work together, we can gather enough bamboo to help them. Ping and Mei spent the next few hours gathering the freshest bamboo they could find. Ping used his strong paws to pull down tall stalks of bamboo, while Mei zipped around, collecting bundles and tying them together with vines. They worked hard under the warm sun, determined to help the pandas across the river. But there was one big problem. The river was wide and fast-flowing, and Ping wasn't the best swimmer. Mei, being smaller, could easily climb trees and leap across rocks, but Ping's heavy body made crossing the river a challenge. I don't know if I can do it, Mei. Ping said, looking nervously at the rushing water. What if I fall in? Mei smiled up at him. Don't worry, Ping. I'll help you. We'll find a way to cross together. Together, Ping and Mei came up with a plan. Mei scouted ahead, finding a narrow part of the river where the current wasn't as strong. She hopped from rock to rock, showing Ping the safest way to cross. Ping followed carefully, stepping slowly and using his strong legs to balance on the slippery rocks. Though the journey was difficult, Ping kept going, determined to help the other pandas. After what felt like hours, Ping and Mei finally made it across the river, their bamboo bundles in tow. Exhausted but proud, they continued their journey to the other side of the mountain, where the pandas lived. When they arrived, the pandas in the grove were overjoyed to see Ping and Mei with the bamboo. The pandas were weak and hungry, but Ping's heart swelled with pride as they gratefully accepted the food. Thank you so much, said Bao, the leader of the grove. We didn't know what we were going to do. Your kindness has saved us. Ping smiled and nodded. It wasn't just me. Mei and I worked together. We couldn't let you go hungry. Bao's eyes shone with gratitude. You both have shown us that friendship and sharing are more important than anything. We will remember your kindness always. Ping and Mei stayed with the pandas that night, enjoying the company of their new friends. As they sat together, watching the stars twinkle above the mountains, Ping realized something important. It wasn't just the bamboo that had made the difference, it was the act of working together and sharing what they had. We're all part of the same forest, Ping said quietly to Mei. Helping each other makes us stronger. Mei nodded, her eyes twinkling in the moonlight. And no matter how big or small we are, we can always make a difference. The next morning, Ping and Mei said their goodbyes and began the journey back to their side of the river. This time, the crossing seemed easier, and Ping felt more confident, knowing that he and Mei could overcome any challenge together. As they returned to their bamboo grove, Ping felt a deep sense of satisfaction. He knew that no matter what challenges came their way, he and Mei would always be there to help each other and their friends. From that day on, Ping and Mei were known throughout the forest for their kindness and generosity. 
The pandas from across the river often visited, bringing stories and laughter, and the animals of the forest knew they could always count on Ping and May to lend a helping paw. And whenever Ping sat down to enjoy his favorite bamboo, he remembered the journey he had taken and the lesson he had learned, that true strength comes from friendship, perseverance, and the willingness to share what you have with those in need.